Hi everyone, I wanted to do a quick video about GoodNotes 5 and using digital sticker sheets. Um, so if you're not aware, GoodNotes 4 is the application that I use for um, all of my digital planners, all of my files work with um, that application. They have recently released an update, GoodNotes 5. You can see the two icons down here in the bottom. Um, the one on the left is GoodNotes 4, the one on the right is GoodNotes 5. And the digital sticker sheets and the way that you import them are a little bit different. So I wanted to go through and just give do a quick tutorial and show you how you're going to still use files you purchased from my shop in the past before this update if you do decide to upgrade to GoodNotes 5. Um, now GoodNotes 4 is still available on the App Store. You can continue using it if you'd like. I've switched to GoodNotes 5. I really enjoy the editing capabilities um, that come with the new GoodNotes 5 application, the toolbar at the top. Um, but definitely wanted to cover these digital sticker sheets if you are contemplating on upgrading to the next um, version or the new version of the GoodNotes application. So if you'll remember, uh, the way that GoodNotes 4 organized your information, it uh, gave you a dashboard and it gave you these um, kind of different folders or sections that you could use. Um, I had one for notebooks, I had one for digital covers, and I had one for stickers. All of my sticker sheets are transparent PNGs so that when you import them, if you prefer to import them directly on your layout, they are transparent and you do not have the white background. If you'd like to use um, them and save them within the GoodNotes application, you're no longer allowed to do that the traditional way in GoodNotes 5 that you did with GoodNotes 4. So before you would just um, add something in here, you would say import, wherever you saved your file from download. So in my shop, when you purchase a digital item, you get a direct link to download. You either have to save it to your um, your camera roll or into a cloud um, program like Dropbox or iCloud. I save everything to iCloud and then import it in. What you have to do now with GoodNotes 5 uh, is this is what your dashboard looks like. You can easily create folders to view here or you can import items directly into the dashboard. What I created to work with GoodNotes 5 is this sticker book that you'll see in the bottom left corner. Um, because with this new uh, GoodNotes 5 application, when you import something, you can only import a PDF document. Um, you cannot import, and that's to my knowledge. There might be other file formats that you can import, but I do know that importing the PNGs and my sticker sheets um, does not work. So you can still import the digital planners the traditional way because those are all PDFs with interactive links, but the Sticker sheets are a little bit different. So what I've created is a sticker book, uh, which is basically, it comes as a blank template. Um, you can navigate the top to organize uh, different stickers that you purchase, or you can save um, really anything that you want. If you've done a layout that you really like, you can copy and paste your entire layout and plug it in here so you can reference it later. Uh, if you want to save icons and logos, Target logos, Publix logos, however you um, want to use those for your planner, you can save them all in here for quick, quick reference. Um, but what you see here is these are actually um, my sticker sheets that I import directly in here. So like I said, you cannot import it into your dashboard, but you can use a sticker book or something like this to house them all. Um, and all you would do is let me get to one uh, that's blank. And all you would need to do to get those sticker sheets in or elements in um, is make sure you hit this pen to, to uh, enable your, your edit toolbar. Um, and again, if you tap it, this is what allows you to um, navigate through the interactive links. When you have this turned off, uh, these links no longer work. So to navigate, you ha definitely have to, to remove your toolbar, but to add images, you need to have them appear again. So I will go to a blank page. I will turn off um, the navigation and get to my editing toolbar. And all you would do uh, would hit, you would hit this image. And again, if you saved it into your camera roll, it would appear here. Um, I always have everything in an iCloud. So um, iCloud would come up and you would be able to bring in this entire sticker sheet. Um, and as you can see, the transparency is still there. Um, it is still the transparent PNG. And then you have everything here when you have a layout. So here is my layout for last week. I used a lot of these different elements. 
Um, when you want to capture something, you use your lasso tool. This is one way to do it. I'm going to show you two different ways. Take screenshot, you say copy, you go back into your layout, you paste that. Um, obviously, you don't want all the white around it. You tap it again and say crop. You have a rectangle. Um, I would want to do freehand to get it all around the different edges. Done. And then you can see that you got rid of a lot of the uh, white background. So now you have something that is a little bit easier to work with. If you are doing something um, like this love lettering that I did, this one, you probably don't want any white background. So another way to use the digital sticker sheets in GoodNotes 5 is actually within the layout itself. So you have the layout open, you do the same thing, uh, you insert the entire sheet, you can see that everything is transparent, and you would tap it and hit crop, and you would just crop the element that you want within the sticker sheet. You're gonna have to do a little bit more cropping freehand to get rid of that Digital Planner Club logo at the top. And now you have this that is completely transparent and you can place it um, on your layout.